Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Uh, this is your host, man, Evangelist Watchman, Brother Ramon, End Time Street Preacher, right here in Jacksonville, Florida. And I wanted to talk to you. Wanted to talk to you this morning, and uh, I don't know how long this is going to go, but, you know, I'm going to try to be faithful with it. I get a little busy in this life, like others. Woo! Get a little busy, man. Excuse me. Well, I want to talk about um, the purpose of evangelism and why we should go out into the edges. And if you heard what I said, I said we. But yes, many are called, but few are chosen. There's many of us that are disciples. There's many of us that are evangelists. But evangelism is a little different the way that some of us do like myself we're open air street preachers meaning we go out into the hedges we go out into places we go out into vineyards we go to corners <laughs> amen we go to walmarts yep we go to uh, halfway houses yep we go stand in front of the mason lodges yes we be at certain events pride events lgbtquzyme events <laughs> amen we do all those things. And many will see what we do and they will believe that, man, that's unorthodox, that's different, haven't seen that in a long time. Some think we're a little nuts. Some, some probably think we got a 10 4 hat on. Come on, somebody. But I'm here to tell you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, that it is very important for you, yes, you, mm -hmm, to go out somewhere, somehow, some way. I don't care if you write Jesus is coming soon, which he is, on a white billboard with black marker and writing. I need you to tell somebody. No, hear me. I need you to tell somebody about somebody, which is Jesus Christ, that can save everybody. Amen. Oh, yeah, he can save everybody. He can even save you. Mm -hmm. For the ones that listen to this may not be saved. Yes, he, he's calling you. Mm -hmm. He's calling you back. I was listening to my brother Ricky Caster on Facebook. His name is Ricky Caster. And I was listening to my brother talk this morning. He was talking about how many would say that a lot of us that do preaching the way that we do, we show no love. Uh, our love meter <laughs> is down. You know, we don't really show the love because of the way that we speak. But you got to remember, what will save man from hell? Righteous preaching. Come on, somebody. When Noah preached that message for all those decades, I put, I put, I ain't going to say money because that's worldly. I put, I just know for by faith that the way that Noah preached that gospel, they thought he was out of his mind. Because they did. They walked past him. They was like, how are you building an ark? How are you building this ark? How are you doing all these things? And you building this big old boat. And... You talking about it's finna rain. It ain't never rain. But it, I'm sure they thought it was a little crazy. Nuts, maybe. And a lot of folks think that we're crazy. Think we're a little nuts. And, you know, and they say, oh, you don't show love. Or why you speak so hard. And why you come over here making all this noise. And why you do this. And why you do that. And why you do it this way. Why you do it that way. You didn't get the Hebrew Israelites want to say, oh, it's this and oh, it's that. And then uh, to, to understand that Yeshua, Jesus Christ says, don't think. When he comes back, he says, don't think that I come back to bring peace on earth. Come on, somebody. But I came to bring a sword. Hallelujah. That's going to cut a man of slender. So that's telling me that through boldness, through preaching the gospel with truth, through understanding that the, the word is truth and love, Jesus is love. So if I preach Christ crucified, then I'm preaching love. Come on, somebody. Are you hearing what the young preacher is saying to you today? Are you hearing what I'm saying on the podcast? Share it. Come on, share it. 
Share it with somebody. Because I want you to understand us as an evangelist, us as street preachers, us as open air street preachers, we ain't coming to, to give you lollipops and rainbows. Come on, somebody. I ain't coming to give you lucky charms. I come to give you some understanding that you know that we serve a holy and righteous God. And he's going to judge us. Uh, give us. A, we're going to have to give an account. And he's going to judge us for every idle word. Mm-hmm. Were you playing with my people? Were you giving them lollipops or were you giving them the truth? Or were you giving them my word or were you giving them watered down doctrine? Were you giving them love, grace, and, and holiness and righteousness? Uh-huh. Preaching sin no more. Were you doing all those things? Or were you holding it back like Joel Osteen and them? Oh, come on. They got a place. But I'm not the judge. But he is. But I'm telling you this. We ain't got too much time to keep cotton being cotton candy preachers. And I'm telling you, I'm not a cotton candy preacher. And I'm telling you, as I'm, I'm segueing with my brother Ricky Cast, I'm with you, brother. That this is not the time or the season to, 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 to be lukewarm in your walk. But this is the time more now than ever before to be on fire. So this, this is a part one that I want you to understand that why we preach this type of gospel, why we preach this type of message, and why it's important. Because it is. Oh, it is, brothers and sisters. So, if you're listening to this, understand when you see an evangelist, understand when you see a preacher, even in a pulpit, preaching that, that word and this truth, and it's cutting your flesh to the marrow. Don't, don't get in your feelings. Don't get upset. Don't get mad. Just receive it because it's, the word is to save your soul. Amen. To save a wretch like me. So subscribe to the podcast. Hit the bell right there on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Spreaker.com. Come on over to the family, man. King coming. Find me on YouTube at WatchMe underscore 904777. Facebook at Dropping Seas 9. I mean, TikTok at Dropping Seas 904. Facebook at End Time Street Preacher. Ramon, End Time Street Preacher. King coming. Shalom. Lord, we need your spirit, Lord, to flow. Blow, wind, blow, wind, blow. Blow, really good waves, we blow the breeze. Blow, wind, blow.